Hi, I'm Postiage, and I'm going to show you PoE Level Buddy. After two days of programming, it's uh, here. PoE Level Buddy is a reminder program that will showcase important stuff during leveling. Why don't I just show you? Upon first launching the program, you'll be greeted by, with a file browser. Use this file browser to navigate to your PoE's client's text file. This is located in the Pot of Exile installation folder. I'll just browse to mine real quick. After selecting your client.txt file, you'll be in the options menu. Select the class you'll be playing, I'm going to pick Ranger for now. Select your bandit reward. If at any point you feel like you need to change the client.txt path, just click on browse to change it. Now you can click on act 1 through 4 for your gem selections. Select which gem you want to pick for what quest, this will automatically go to the next quest when you select a gem. Additionally, you can use the arrows to navigate backwards and forwards. You can click the options button to return to the options menu at any point in time. Click the bottom right arrow to save your settings and go to the main program. As you can see a save file was created and next time you launch everything you set in the options will still be there. So let's go to Lion's Eyes Watch in Act 1. As you can see our gem selections are shown and there, that there is a waypoint in this area. You can also see a check mark in front of enemy at the gate. If we go to the Submerged Passage, you'll see that we can get a skill point here, and that the quest Breaking Some Axe also has been set to complete. If we go to the prison, you'll see that there is a Trial of Ascendancy here, and when you reach Prisoner's Gate, it'll complete the Caged Brood. Same goes for when you reach Murphil's Cavern. So, when you get to Act 2, you'll see your gems. And you'll want to be reminded of your bandit choice, obviously. As such, I've made it that when you enter the town of Act 2, also known as the Forest Encampment, you'll get a reminder that will tell you of your bandit choice. When you get to the old field, you can see that there is a side quest for respec points here. When you go to the Imperial Gardens, you'll be reminded of Ciosa's quest, and in Act 4 you'll be reminded of Dashred's location. Currently there is no text-based hints post Act 5, but I'm planning on adding them in the future. However, the waypoint, skill point, respect point, and trial indicators still work and are accurate. Now let's show what it would look like when you are using a new character. As a heads up, there is a small bug that I fixed after I made this video, with the check mark still being shown. In the future I'd like to add several more features to this program. I'd like to be able to import part of building codes to fully automate gem selections. I also would like for you to be able to add your own hints to zones. I also want to get more tips for zones to show up. I'd also like to add vendor inventory for gems, so that you can even pick the right gems whenever they become available to you. And maybe even some general map layout information to be shown. Since the program was coded in Java, you'll need the, to have the Java runtime environment installed, also known as JRE. You can see more about that in the release post I made for this program, linked in the description. Before I end this video, I want to do a quick shout out to my own stream, twitch.tv slash Rizlam, because I'll be doing a 12 hour stream, then I'm gonna sleep for a little bit, and then I'm gonna do another 24 hour stream right after that, on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. That's this March the 2nd. I'm trying to stream from a local LAN event, so let's see how that all go. When you level up, you see that your level will be tracked and your passive points are also tracked. This program works by reading your client.txt debug text and as such it only works when you are changing zones. For demonstration purposes, I've edited in the window in the top right, but you can just have this program on a second screen if you'd like. Anyhow, 
This has been Pulsiage, and I want to thank you for watching.